Did you know the smell of freshly baked cookies can make people more generous? A study published in the journal Appetite found that people were more likely to donate money to charity after smelling freshly baked cookies. The researchers believe that the smell of cookies activates the reward center in the brain, which makes people more likely to want to give back. DDU know there are seed vaults located all over the world that store crop seeds for the future. These vaults are designed to preserve the genetic diversity of crops in case of a natural disaster, war, or other event that could destroy them. One of the most famous seed vaults is the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, located on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen. The vault is built into a mountainside and is kept at a constant temperature of 18 degrees Celsius. It currently contains over 930,000 seed samples from over 90 countries. Welcome to Rewrite Info Station. We have different types of agriculture, each with its own unique set of challenges and opportunities. Subsistence Agriculture This type of agriculture is practiced to meet the food needs of the farmer and their family. It is often practiced in developing countries, where there is limited access to markets and other resources. Commercial Agriculture This type of agriculture is practiced to produce crops and livestock for sale. It is often practiced in where there is a large market for agricultural products. Organic Agriculture This type of agriculture prohibits the use of synthetic fertilizers and pesticides. It is a growing trend in agriculture, as consumers are increasingly demanding healthier and more sustainable food. Vertical Farming It is practiced in vertically stacked layers. It is a space-saving way to grow crops, and it is often used in urban areas. Aquaculture The farming of fish, shellfish, and other aquatic animals. It is a growing industry, as the demand for seafood continues to increase. Polyculture Farmers grow a variety of crops in the same field. This helps to reduce the risk of crop failure and can also improve soil health. Permaculture This is a type of agriculture that seeks to mimic natural ecosystems. This involves using practices such as crop rotation, cover cropping, and composting to build soil fertility and promote biodiversity. Pastoral Agriculture This type of agriculture is based on the raising of livestock. It is often practiced in areas with limited rainfall or poor soil conditions. Plantation Agriculture Large areas of land are used to grow a single crop, such as sugarcane, bananas, or coffee. This is often practiced in tropical and subtropical regions. Food can be classified into three main types. Plant-based foods Foods are made from plants, such as fruits, vegetables, grains, and legumes. Animal-based foods Foods are made from animals, such as meat, fish, eggs, and dairy products. Processed foods Foods are made from a variety of ingredients, including plant-based and animal-based foods, and are often high in sugar, fat, and salt. Food is essential for human health. 
It provides the body with the nutrients it needs to function properly, such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Food also helps to regulate the body's metabolism and immune system. Have you ever wondered why there is so much food around us, but still, some people go hungry? Well, there are a few reasons for this. First, not everyone lives in places where food is abundant. Some people live in areas that are prone to drought or flooding, which can make it difficult to grow crops. Others live in areas that are affected by war or political instability, which can disrupt food production and distribution. Second, climate change is making it harder to grow food. Droughts are long periods of time with little or no rain. They can dry up crops and make it difficult for plants to get the water they need to grow. Floods are when too much water falls in a short amount of time. They can wash away crops and damage farmland. In Ethiopia, a country in Africa, a drought in 2011 caused a famine that killed over 200,000 people. The drought made it difficult for farmers to grow crops, and many people were left without food. Third, we're cutting down forests to make room for agriculture. Forests are home to millions of species of plants and animals. They provide essential habitat for wildlife, including many endangered species. Do you know what happens to all the food that we don't eat? It goes to waste. That's right. A third of all the food produced for humans is wasted every year. That's like throwing away 1.3 billion tons of food. And it happens at all stages of the food supply chain, from the farm to your plate. Farmers, food processors, distributors, grocery stores, and even us at home throw away food all the time. This is a big problem because it contributes to the global food crisis. By reducing food waste, we can help ensure that everyone has access to the food they need to survive and thrive. Food culture Food culture is a vast and delicious journey that takes us to all corners of the globe. From the steaming bowls of pho in Vietnam to the fiery curries of India. There is something to tempt every taste bud. It is more than just what we eat. It is about the stories we tell about food. The traditions we pass down. And the way we connect with each other through food. Food culture is shaped by our history, our geography, and our values. It's a reflection of who we are as a people. Most popular food cultures around the world. Chinese cuisine. Chinese cuisine is a vast and delicious world of flavors, with over 300 regional cuisines. It is one of the oldest and most diverse cuisines in the world. It is known for its use of soy sauce, rice, and noodles. And different cooking methods, such as stir-frying, steaming, and braising. Indian Cuisine Indian cuisine is a vibrant and exciting culinary adventure that will take you on a journey through the many regions of India. From the spicy curries of the south to the delicate tandoori dishes of the north, there is something for everyone to enjoy. Indian cuisine is known for its use of spices, which are used to create a wide range of flavors, from mild to spicy. Some of the most common spices used in Indian cuisine include turmeric, cumin, coriander, and garam masala. These spices add depth and complexity to the dishes, making them both delicious and satisfying. Italian Cuisine Italian cuisine is a feast for the senses. 
From the sight of fresh pasta being tossed in the air to the smell of garlic and tomatoes cooking in a pan. Italian food is sure to delight. And of course, the taste is simply divine. Italian cuisine is all about simplicity and freshness. The ingredients are often local and seasonal, and the dishes are made with simple cooking methods. Italian cuisine is also about family and tradition. Many Italian dishes are passed down from generation to generation, and they are often associated with special occasions. French cuisine French cuisine is a culinary masterpiece that is renowned for its fresh, seasonal ingredients and its complex flavors. From the boozy sauces of Bordeaux to the rich pastries of Paris, there is something for everyone to enjoy. French cuisine is known for its emphasis on presentation, with dishes often requiring hours of preparation and cooking. French chefs are known for their meticulous attention to detail, and are often decorated with fresh herbs, vegetables, and flowers, which adds to their visual appeal. This attention to detail results in dishes that are both visually stunning and flavorful. Let's discuss about more cuisines, healthy food practice in coming episodes. Thank you subscribe to Rewrite Info Station.